Get ready folks as today we've rounded up some of the best Karen clips on the internet today. If you think you've seen it all, then think again. So sit back, relax, and watch Karens get exactly what they deserve. Here's a guy getting into a heated exchange with a group of people across the street. Let's take a poop, man. That's all you need is a doo doo. You just need a poopy, brother. You just need a poopy a little bit. No, no, he's over at Rudder's yelling. He's too mad. The tree loves you. Uh, like, oh, he's running. <laughs> Yo, Batty, he's running at us right now. What? He's running, he's running over here. Oh! <laughs> This guy wants to get off the bus during a traffic jam, but the driver won't let him, so he freaks out and goes on a funny rant. Oh! Open this! I'm, you think I'm gonna wait like 10, 15, 20 more minutes? Open the door! Open the door! Why, how the f did I get you? Open the door! You can! Suppose I gotta take a what they do that for what I hear? What I I have to go alright, I gotta go to the bathroom. Let me out! Let me out! You weirdo open the door! You you wanna put up with this? I'm gonna yell it to the whole way. Open the door! There's nobody here to hit! Here is a woman who recorded this heated encounter that was part of a larger ongoing battle with her downstairs neighbors. The woman explains that she ordered Uber Eats and it was delivered to their doorstep downstairs. Only when she went down to retrieve the food, it had mysteriously disappeared. When she knocked on the door, this man was holding her food hostage and threatening to eat her food should it ever be delivered to his door again. But during his tirade, the woman snatched her food out of his hand and ran upstairs, at which point she whipped her phone out and recorded the following video. Keep going. been nothing but respectful to you guys. You guys are the ones that keep testing me. You're still right mouth. No, you have the last say, boo. You're the one that came at me. I just wanted my Starbucks. You guys were keeping that from me. Drunk off at my door, stupid. That's my door. That's not my fault. That's it, Uber Eats. No, it's every day. I have to every day they're having I don't stop the pounds. Meet them at the car. Meet them at the car. Meet them at the car. Keep going. Say hi. Meet them at the car. Hi. Alright. Don't have them come to my door. Or it will go to the trash. Now you record. Your food will go to the trash. You didn't record it. You talk to this talk, honey. What did I say? I didn't say anything other than giving my coffee. Okay. Good. I'm glad you got it on camera. Whip yours out now like it's a little late. No, it's not. Because you ain't got nothing on me. The woman added that this couple had already been caught stealing several of her Amazon packages at previous intervals and when discovered blamed it on their 7-year-old son. The couple have since been evicted from the apartment complex. This Karen is causing quite a stir. She's camped out in her ex-boyfriend's mom's car and refuses to come out. You need to handle this, Josh. He doesn't want to be with you. You got to get out, bro. He's got to Joshua, you need to come and tell her to let me have my keys. You need to tell her to let me have my keys. Joshua. Bro, bro. He don't want you. He don't want you. No. You literally stole the keys, bro. You stole the keys. Get tell her. Give me the keys. Tell her to give me the keys. Give me the keys. Get out. Everybody's looking at us, Alana. I swear to God, bro. I know. I know. Bro, get her. Get her. She stole our keys, bro. You, you can go. I you can go. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. Okay. Grand face. I think. Well, I mean. Call him. Okay. Karen. You call him. You can call me Karen if you want to. 
I just did. Get me on video. Well, good. I, you, How many times do I have to tell you to f off? That's the second time. Okay. Right. Good. And okay. I told you a third one, and you still keep hounding me. Are you? F you. Call <laughs> the cops. Call the <laughs> cops. Call the property management. Are you done? Why are don't you, you call them? Are you done? Are you done? Call them now. Are you done? No, I'm not. Are you done? I'm waiting you on you, man. For I, no, no, it's been a reason. Okay, I, no, it's not. Yeah. How many times do I see people out here walking their dog, not picking up their dog? They live here. Here's a woman who believes these employees are denying her civil rights to food because they refuse to serve her. Just go to a different Taco Bell down the street. They'll serve you with no problem. Unless, of course, you act like this. Why are you not letting me eat here, sir? I want to know why these businesses deny me my right to eat. You're lying and saying I'm belligerent because I want services? You have no right to scheme and deny me services. Because you, you, you guys are going to by violating my civil rights and denying me the access to food. Why are you telling me to get out, sir? The door was open. Why are you rude and telling me to leave the store? You have no right to scheme and prevent me from eating. You can't call the police because I want food and service. Why is he telling me I can't eat here? I don't know. Why would he tell me to leave and I can't eat here? I don't know him. Why is he calling the police because I want to eat? Why can't I eat here? I have never done nothing to you guys. Why won't he let me eat? Sir, why is he not letting me eat food? Okay, why is the inside closed? Why is it closed? It says the hours are from 10.30 to 10 p.m. Why won't he tell me what's going on? Because I got conspiracy to violate civil rights, which is up to 10 years. No bully has a right to tell businesses to deny me services. They're denying me food! They won't let me... Or I'm calling the cops. Call no. Them. Call them, miss. I hate your guts. Get the hell off my land. You close up the box. When the cops get the here, box. if you call them, you you're get getting... Get the hell off my You're land. getting arrested for threatening to shoot me. You realize that, right? You are criminally trespassing on no, my land. No, we're locating you're underground facilities. with somebody's box. That isn't even and that company. We recorded you saying that too, so we can use that when the cops get here. So call them. We under we locate underground facilities, Miss. This is our job. You're supposed to show ID. I can show you my ID, but you called you show me. Show me ID you now. You called me too many I names. I don't allow criminal trespassing now, on we'll my land. You, you show cops. me ID, this, both of you, no, or you are gone. Nope. At this point, we're showing it to the cops because you were rude and you threatened us. Yeah, yeah you ID. threatened us. You just get the hell off my land. You threatened to shoot us. Get the hell off my land. And we'll tell you. And we'll tell them. You move on. I'm gonna figure out. I like the company. I'm sorry you feel that way, miss, but it's not us personally. I'm busy. I don't have time. Call the cops. I'm Call the cops. You won't show ID. Call the cops. The people in this area have the right to see ID of the people on the land. You get lost. We're way past. We're way past that. We're way past that now. Yeah. Get just call the lost. cops. At this point, call the cops. <laughs> Have you ever come across someone licking it and then smearing gasoline on their face? Well, now you have. Oh, she drinking and putting gasoline on her face. I cannot make it up. This is her second time doing this. Like, she trying to get all the gasoline out of there and keep licking it and putting it on her face. Look, she finna put it. Oh, my God. What the fuck? And she coming towards me. Let me reverse because, bitch, if I have to hit you. Here we have a father going mad because his son's stepdad took the kid to the barber shop for a haircut. He decides to confront the stepdad, telling him it's not his kid, and starts insulting and being aggressive towards him, all in front of the child. Eventually they call the mother, who says that until he pays child support, he can't take the kid anywhere, which makes the father even more mad. Your boy! Should I say our boy? Yeah, and I think that's my son. World Hey, watch out. Hey, get him out of your car. That's my mother's son. You know, 
There was plenty of warning here, and yet for this Karen, somehow not enough. Take a look at this crazy Miami road rage. other cars and now I'm driving out. So what crime have I committed? Trespassing in the, in the city garage. In the Trespassing. Car, okay? yes, Trespassing. Law. Keep it up. We'll take you out of your car. You get arrested. We'll tow your car. This okay, way. and I'll see you in court. Yes. Shut up. Yeah. Your official warning. Yeah. Don't return to this garage be arrested for trespassing. If you do so with this group, it's trespass arrest. You want to come back on your own time? Buy yourself with this car? You're all set. Have a good night. Take care. See you later. Throw <laughs> my bro. Really? Check out this Karen who can't hold back her racism, yelling racial slurs and spewing hatred as loudly as she can. Yeah, she's on drugs or something. No, I'm totally, I just hate. Let's take a look at how this Karen reacts when the Dollar Tree manager tells her to shut up. You're, you want me to ring you up? That's fine, but you're gonna have to hear my voice. 
Otherwise, you can go to another register. You don't need to talk to her like that. That's actually crazy. You. I'm doing everything I can. But like. When somebody tells me to shut my mouth and bring them up, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be okay with that. But how you're talking to an elder? Of, like one thing is us, but no, don't talk. Don't talk. Don't do that. Where do I draw the line with people talking to me like that? You doing I'm not too much. To you you're just stealing in here. That's the second time you've been in here stealing. Get out. Go ahead. Okay. You know what, guys? We're done. We're done. Everybody, stop. We're done. Like, what is happening? We don't have enough help. Okay. Let's take our stuff. Put it in the cart. Do you understand why I'm coming from? This is out of pocket. Do you understand why I'm coming from? Do you understand why I'm coming from? Do you understand why I'm coming from? Right? You don't want to hear my voice, then don't come to my register. Can I go ahead and pay? Okay. This bus driver became incredibly frustrated with the passengers and decided to pull the bus over mid-trip. She then got confrontational and very heated with the person she wasn't happy with. And let me tell you something else. I am the boss on this bus. When I tell you to pick something up, you say, yes, ma'am. When I tell you to stop cussing, you say, yes, ma'am. Your behavior will not be tolerated on bus 69. Do you understand? I am writing you up for everything you did today. Shame on you. How do people like this exist? It boggles my mind every time I see someone like this. Yeah. 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 I just got, got that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to be online. Good. You're going to be good, online. Good. I got you. you what got am something? I again? What am I again? I got you. Somebody find this man, please. Watch as a police officer gets a bit too emotional and decides to assault this guy. Really? Where does it say that? It says stop here on red. You're the one sitting on your phone doing other things. I wasn't things. on my phone. Really? No, I wasn't. Yeah, I saw you looking no, down doing everything phone. else. No, no, I was moving something in my bag. Okay, well. And I'll see you with a ticket and I'll call your supervisor. Sure, sounds yeah. good. Let me get your badge number. <laughs> you want to get arrested? You're going to get arrested yeah. for in a bizarre move, this Kevin printed a barcode on his shirt and asked employees to scan it because he doesn't want LEDs on his chickens. Conspiracy nuts sure are something else, man. You know who I am. I don't want any trouble. I got five chickens. I don't want any LED on them. None. Scan my shirt five times, buddy. Five times. I need the Costco card. That's a regular credit card. I need the Costco card. Okay, hold on. I got one. I don't know. Here you go. I don't want to charge it on this card. I want to put it on this card. Damn it. I think he's a TikTok. I think he's a TikTok. Scan it. I did. Okay. Done. <laughs> 
like. Watch the confrontation unfold after someone steals from the local farmer's market. You said that you were down to the last dollar in your bank account, and if you needed the produce for yourself, and I said we'd be more than happy to help you with a few items. You put a few items in your bag. I asked you that was enough, and then you continued to list off at least five to ten more items that you wanted. Not five to ten, that's a bit of a exaggeration. Mm, no, you said you wanted I a couple more bunches of ginger, some cilantro, some parsley, that. and a few bunches Can of Can I interrupt for a moment? That is exactly what you and said. And cilantro. No, that's exactly what you said but if you were recording. But then I said I needed to continue to shop. Yeah, that's no, not true. Yes. That is exactly true. You're exaggerating. I'm but not exaggerating, I'm saying. Why would I be jeopardizing my job? You're not jeopardizing your job. She can't give you free items. You can't take. You're in my way. You cannot take those items. Let me tell you, I will post this on Facebook. I am a $1,000 an hour healer. You, you can do that. Out of my way. You can't steal you're from the market. Way. I'm not stealing. She's on camera. You're an I was a rape survivor. A rape survivor. You need to say you're sorry. I will not. you do that again? We're photographing. You've arrived at your destination. That would be an act You know what? You're the one who's in this market's going to get a shout out. That's not kind. Did you hear me say rape survivor? It's an aspect of trespass Did if you, you come and take items again. I didn't take anything. I had permission. You heard her say I gave her permission to take things, didn't you? You didn't mean to You know what? I'm literally what shaking scale? as a trauma survivor. She didn't What's say. New? She said, "Go ahead and, and take did what you have need. permission from I the farmer?" I didn't her because I was kind. Did you have permission you. from the farmer? I had permission from her representing you the farmer. You emailed him last night. Her. No, you heard her say, "Take what you need." No, she then said, she "Take got some items." That her job was jeopardized, and it's not jeopardized, sir. I can pay for the items if I have to today. But she heard me correctly. I'm Will on you my pay last for them? dollars. Did you hear me about rape? Are you hearing the word rape? Rape. Everyone rape. here. Rape. Did you hear it again? Rape. That's not you're relevant. Not even saying, I'm sorry you were raped, ma'am. That is not relevant how, to what you're doing here. Outstandingly great it is. Everyone that you are literally here. On camera saying that a rape survivor doesn't need help when someone offered help. To the farmers that you are pulling. Stealing? To no, the farmers that you're pulling from. I actually from. want to work with this group to help them. To help them understand how important it is that we only have 60 years of mother. Left. Do you remember me talking if to you, you about the soil? If you need food, because I know that I did. You need to now, work with us. We have hillside food outreach for those that I cannot want to work pay for, for an exchange. Food. I'm a thousand dollar an hour person who is online helping people heal. Go check me out. If you Stupid, have income, support the farmer. Miss, you're clear on what I said. You cannot be in the market at this time. It's a fully open market. I'd like some mushrooms to pay for them, please. Sorry to interrupt you, ma'am. Um, yeah, can you call the police? Oh, okay. You understand it's an act of trespass now, correct? It's not trespassing. It's a private market, sir, or public? This is actually a private event to which the public is invited, subject so to a set of rules. That a rape survivor isn't allowed to shop. That's uh, what you're saying. Did she pay to me? for those? She gave them to me, and it's Are you shopping for her? It's literally on Are you film. shopping for her? I am going to shop for her, yes. Okay, but you were asked to leave the market due to the altercation we had, correct? We had no altercation. You made a scene. No, I'm explaining you to you. You said, you I were, don't care about rape survivors, you did, basically. You with a farmer what there chose again? to take what is items. Your name again? What you already have recorded my name. We'll That's do right. that when the and police And I can't come. remember it because I'm literally having heart disease. And I literally have it documented. Here we see a Kevin attempting to prove his toughness by fighting a security guard, only to find out the hard way that it was a bad idea. Hey. 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 This Karen clip is like a never-ending rabbit hole. Each new detail only leads to more questions. Yeah! 
Let's have a look at a guy who was quietly going about his day when an old lady behind him started asking if he was a boy or a girl. But when he stood up and walked towards her, she started screaming for help. What'd you say? Help! What'd you say? Help! Yo, what did you say? Why would you ask me something like that? What I look like? What do I look like? I sound like a guy, right? Yo, yo, listen, listen, lady, stop playing with me. Are you a boy or a girl? What are you? This guy and her neighbor Karen end up in an argument because her husband mowed this guy's lawn without being asked and received no thanks. However, the guy never even asked the favor, and when he told Karen to leave, Karen decided to stay put and hurl insults instead. Come on, listen. Come on. You put stuff on my lawn. I don't put nothing on it. This is my lawn. Your lawn is on the other side. You got a deck back That's there. That's not true. Okay. This whole thing was mine. So but I, I, moved, I moved here. You gave it to me. Well, until the other people were here and they took it from me. Yeah. They took it from... Who took it from you? Did I take it from you? The park took it. The park took it. So why are you knocking on my door? I'm knocking on your door because my husband was nice enough to mow your lawn. I never and asked him to. He came to my you house. You to deal with that. I no, never I'm, asked I'm him done. to. He's done. That's how I'm he's going to behave. I'm done with him. That's it. All right, if I, if, if, if I asked him to mow my lawn, then I asked him to mow my lawn. Yeah, I never I asked, asked him. Just say thank you here. All right, I, I, Maybe it's listen. time that you move. Okay? No, why don't you move? Maybe I will. Thank God. Really? You really hate me that much? Yes, I do now. <laughs> have, a nice, have a nice day. No, I'm calling the cops Call now. It. Thank you. You're on, you're on my, the cops will see you're on my you're porch. You're allowed to be on your porch. No, you're not. This is, you, this is, you tr you're trespassing. It's private I'm property. I'm allowed to knock on All right? your door. You're allowed to not answer. I don't want, I don't want to knock on your door. Just get away from me. Let's go. Yo, crazy. Let's, let's go. You're all crazy. I know what he's doing. I know what he's doing. You're going to go to jail for trespass. You ain't going to jail. I'm calling the cops. I'm not on your property. You're on mine. Listen, stop recording me because I didn't give you permission to. You're on my property, bro. You're on my doorstep. Step over this line. Okay. And I'm calling the cops. I'm calling them now. Good. Get them here now. All right. Now. I'm calling them now. Now. Six. Karen expects this guy not to get mad at her when she trespasses and leaves signs on his property. She lectures him to be nice, even though she was the one who trespassed. I was hoping to talk to someone about the sign. So that's all private property. It's a common misconception, but I just wanted to let you know. It also violates the city's codes for temporary signs. Uh, they wouldn't let you put it there anyway. So I wanted to return this and just let you know that. Have a great day. It absolutely is. No, the HOA has an easement on my property for the monument sign. That is it. It is my property to the curb. That is correct. So, okay, so that was my confusion. So that's your property. Yes, it is. So where is it not your property? My it's property right? goes... Because I was told I'm a board member. I understand. My property goes to the edge of the curb as you come in on country farms, and it goes to the edge of the road on County Road 5. You are welcome to verify that information by the Larimer County. You, I'm so, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. I'm on the board. I talked to Mac. Mac told me where to put it. Okay. Well, I've okay, sent so it. I've sent a letter to the board. Let me finish talking, please. Okay. I've listened to you, so I expect the, res the same respect. Okay. Fine. Okay. I apologize. You should have just come to me and asked me or told me instead of taking my sign. Okay. And I talked to Mac last night. And this, I mean, this is not how you, uh, this is unacceptable. 
You should have just said to me, I'm sorry, that's my property. Please don't put the sign on it. I will let Mac know that we are totally in the wrong. Okay. I okay, had no idea you, where the sign came like from. It, just come speak to the person. I, I had no idea where the so sign came from. I had no way of tracking it down. You, oh, you couldn't have walked by. You knew where I was today. Yep, because I saw happen? his truck parked outside my house all morning. And then when I went out and took the sign, he immediately drove off. Like... I'm not going to sit here and be lectured about you trespassing on my property, not doing your due diligence exactly. and leaving stuff on my okay. property. I'll, that's fine. Great. Thank you. Have a great day. This Karen gets the boot from a store for crossing the line with your mama jokes and insults at a worker. On a Sunday. This barefoot drunk Karen starts destroying things in the restaurant and then she escapes through a window and runs down the street like some crazy wild animal. Calm down. Calm down. Is it? Yeah. Don't touch hey, it. Hey, sit yeah. down. Put it down. Hey, put it down right now. Put it, oh. ah! put it down. Don't touch anything. Yo. Yo. What Don't the? Don't touch anything. Down. Hey, yo. Hey, she's coming out the window. Go get her! This racist Karen starts harassing and accusing this Amazon worker of stealing packages with absolutely no evidence of any kind. And even at one point puts her hands on this poor woman as she's trying to go about her day doing her job. We've had thieves here and you're a thief? Excuse me, don't touch me. No. Don't touch me. Excuse me. Let me. Excuse me, please don't touch me. Don't Literally touch me. me. If you Literally touching me. Okay, yeah, do that, please, because she's harassing me. Thank you. Please call security. Thank you. Please call security. You don't call on you. Excuse me. You don't. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. She's attacking me. Please call security. She's attacking me. Please call security. I'm calling you. Excuse me, ma'am. Stop here. Excuse me, ma'am. Stop here. Excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. Amazon. Do that, please. Oh, please, please.